Okay, this is what I'm calling the um, chaos motor, and it was an accidental find, and uh, I thought I would share this with some of the people that have been studying the Easy Spin by Laser Saber and how it could possibly run on such low, low amperage. And uh, after I did the study with the coils, the high resistance coils, I started looking at the bearings, and uh, the bearing structure on an Easy Spin is really interesting. It's a needle on the bottom and a needle on the top with a sapphire cup bearing here and a sapphire cup bearing up there and then there's an adjustment here which is not really a screw it's it's a uh, holder that has uh, ridges in it that you can move up and down and reposition and uh, what I've got here is a brass screw out of a lamp assembly I believe or something that I drilled a little hole in the bottom and made like a cup and then the bottom down here is another piece of brass, a little uh, thumb screw thing that I put a, uh, a dish in it, and then that's filled up with oil. And there's needles on the top and needles on the bottom. And what's going on here is the needle is wobbling in that bearing up there and causing this to fire very, very erratically. And you probably won't be able to see this flash except once in a while. And what's going on here is it's it's a chaotic firing. When this goes down to a certain RPM, the uh, needle lays over on the side, basically, just at the right time to trigger that reed switch. It speeds the rotor up. The rotor stands up on uh, the centrifugal force like a top does. And then it doesn't fire for a while until it slows down. And uh, this chaotic uh, firing of this little motor here uh, was really really interesting and the power drain out of that AA battery firing sporadically erratically like that would cause a very 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 low power drain on a power source because the inertia energy when that thing fires is stored in the rotor uh, the inertia is stored, the energy keeps going around and around and keeps the rotor moving but because of this wobbling effect of the needle in the bearing which you probably can't even see there but that needle is wobbling around in that bearing um, causes this erratic firing and I call this the chaos motor and uh, this is me and that's the day, it's 21st of February 2015 and you can see what's going on there is it's a uh, couple of needles sitting in brass bearings and it's uh, steel on brass which is actually a pretty good bearing surface if you lubricate it and then that's just a simple reed switch circuit that gets fired as that rotor wobbles around in there and it wobbles around in a real chaotic fashion and that's why I call it the chaos motor because it, it doesn't fire on a regular basis. It, it fires uh, on a strange formula and I'm sure the mathematician guys would love to analyze this because of the dynamics, the physics dynamics and the mathematics of what is going on there as that thing wobbles around and the needles are not in there perfectly straight, the bearing surfaces are not perfect the alignment of the reed switch and the coil, the aerodynamics of the rotor, the whole thing is chaotic. And that's why I call this the chaos motor. And uh, I went over to Wikipedia and pulled up a chaos theory. And that, to me, is an example of the chaos theory. It might be called randomness also, but uh, that's an example of how you can keep a rotor spinning with a very very small power surge sporadically anyway I thought that was really interesting thought I, so I thought I'd share this with the guys that uh, study these little pulse motors and um, like I say uh, the energy coming out of that battery uh, sporadically like that chaotically keeping that rotor spinning uh, w would run a long, long, long time. It's about, uh, um, I think uh, the amp draw on this is probably 10 milliamps, uh, 5 to 10 milliamps on a burst when it's doing that. 
but it's only doing it once in a while. And uh, like I say, the total amount of wattage uh, draw uh, is very small. Anyway, that's the chaos motor. Very interesting.